As of today's update, you'll be able to create campfires. Jagex, good job. Do not do not call them bonfires because that would be from RuneScape 3. You gotta rename them a little bit, even though they're exactly the same thing, which lets you add and burn logs one at a time for a third of the usual experience. Man, you pussies, man, they couldn't even make the regular bonfires. You gain roughly 50% less XP per hour, but it's AFK. That's right. It's I, I'm not clicking. I'm clapping with my hands. It, they they added bonfires in the game, but so nerfed, man. I guess like people would be using this method maybe instead of Winter Todd. Maybe that's why. But I always associate uh, fire making with like high XP rates, and this is definitely not high XP rate. Seeing like U logs being burned for sixty eight experience each so it may depend on your playstyle. but another thing that you could do you could fill full inventory of these u logs and instead of walking somewhere to the bank or maybe teleporting out walking to the bank teleporting back whatever you're chopping you could instead just burn the full inventory and i could see this work very well with higher level trees you probably don't want to do this with oaks because you're just chopping so quick and it's going to be not AFK at all. Or it's going to be AFK, but it's Oaks. I don't know why you would be burning Oaks unless you have like low level fire making. And it seems like most of the more popular to chop areas, like, you know, Maples in the Sears Village, they also have the permanent foresters campfire. But what if you don't have it? What if you're like maybe training fire making this way somewhere close to the bank? Can you make your own bonfire? And the answer is... Yes, you can. You can just start uh, throwing the locks like that. It gives the same amount of experience. It's fine. Yep, 67. Actually, I actually think this is better than RuneScape 3 bonfires. There's no way they're as quick in RuneScape 3. At least I don't remember that way. So they consume more logs, but give the same amount of XP an hour. Or it looks like it, at least. It's way too quickly, the consuming this. So this may be not as bad as I thought. And something else I want to try out. Wait, so I got 56 run energy, and I noticed there is a, a rest option as well. So they added the rest. Look at this dude. Oh, he's actually, is he drinking tea? Yep, yep. He's doing it. My run energy, 61, 62. It, it's doing it quicker. And you see, like, Runelight hasn't even caught up to this. It says, like, 100% energy in 1 minute and 30 seconds, which I believe is going to be way quicker than that because you can see that the time just skips seconds almost or it goes very quickly from time to time. So you do rest on these bonfires, but it's so slow. But maybe for the early game, this actually could be game changing. Like if you just created the account, you know, you cannot really run on a fresh account. You have to really save it for those specific situations, maybe more difficult quests and so on. I'm curious, could you just rest anywhere? Nope, you cannot rest on the fire. You know, I thought maybe you could have like a portable one. Nope, it has to be on these made fires. Okay, let me reset the XP rates. Let's check out the Redwoods. Okay, I, th I would say that was last inventory. I put this in the canvas here. It is approximately 150k XP an hour. I may have missed a little bit, maybe I afk for like 10 seconds too long, but maybe I wasted maximum one minute in, in the whole half an hour I've been doing. Not, not even that. Yep, not even... Wow, that was quickly... That was very quick to use all 500 logs. That means, man, you burn like 1.5k logs an hour. If you are an Iron Man and if you have 15,000 logs, it's going to take you 10 hours only. Technically, it's really only because 15,000 sounds like a lot, but you can burn through them so, so quickly. New item, golden pheasant egg. And it's not even in my inventory. I lost it. Uh, the nest in habitat attacks causing you to drop all your pheasant eggs. Did I lose... Oh my god, I got it again, maybe? Is that the golden egg? No, it's just a pheasant egg. Oh my god, that was collection log, and I think... Oh no. The the pheasant egg, I believe, is used to, like, make a pheasant out of, um, out of a beaver. So I have a beaver pet. So you keep getting these pheasant eggs, and you can have one at a time. So that's the random event that you do. You basically catch the egg, and you bring it to the forester. That's all. The problem is... That these guys, when you stay near them, the ones who are guarding the eggs, you can see this has a pheasant. This does not anymore, so I can pick it up. It is so annoying. I picked it up and I just, oh my god, golden egg. Wait, 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 drop it. What is it? If you are especially lucky, you'll obtain a golden pheasant egg, which you can use to transmog your beaver pet. 
How pleasant. What is the reality of this thing? Bro, I've been in here for like less than one hour chopping these trees. So wait, I get the beaver pencil. Yes, even if you get the egg, you actually cannot use it as far as I can tell. You definitely need a beaver pet. Why is it lying so hard? Ooh, metamorphosis beaver. What? That's a, like the very first option that it has. Wait, metamorphosis? You can unlock ability for your pet beaver to change color by feeding it a funky shaped log. You can unlock other forms for your beaver pet by finding special items during woodcutting events. It says special items like a plural, but I, I think it's only the golden pheasant egg. So judge, use it on this. You feed the egg to your pet and now it became a pheasant. <laughs> yes, that's the one. Feathers? How novel. Okay, how does it look like? It is a pheasant who is following you. How cute. It just, I still cannot get over it that this is actually a beaver pet. So if you see any people of pheasants, that means they had a beaver pet that they metamorphosed into a pheasant. You can actually just turn them back maybe. Beaver, pheasant, or cancel. Beaver. And you could do a third option if I had that log, but it's just you have to play this mini game. Well, chop trees for quite a long time. I don't actually see that many pheasants. I'm not gonna lie, I think I may have gotten quite super lucky in this one. I've seen like a couple of them. Maybe a couple of them. Hello everybody, my name is Efren. Today the second forestry update has happened. You see that guy? He's winning a two-handed, I believe that's a crystal axe. In fact, if you go to Grand Exchange and search for felling, all of the other axes are now made into like a different variant. I believe this is like a two-handed one. And it's very weird seeing a third age felling axe. Like you can actually convert that too. And if you click on it, it shows that the medium price is only 66,000. Now, if you go to Drainer Village and trade this friendly forester, there's a bunch of new items also. The Twitter's gloves is what I want to get right now because it gives like a higher chance of receiving their desired type of nest. I actually do not know what that means. Desired type of nest, like where you can pick your own type what like god nests because i don't think that's the case but there's a higher chance of receiving them and i think they maybe have some charges oh that's a new collection log yes twitchers gloves uh, settings which type of nest would you like to increase chance of receiving egg seed clue wait what of course egg that that's like the only thing in the collection log that well, i'm looking at like miscellaneous and there is this stupid uh, evil chicken outfit yeah i've seen other youtubers i think guides for us all he has like insane like hundreds and hundreds of kc and i think he had like one item or something i forgot something it's crazy rare basically there i have like a dragon full helm i have a bunch of like rare items but this stupid thing i was like i'm not gonna work on this until they rework is this a potential rework so let's wear these gloves while chopping trees and by the way something i found out also if you trade this guy there is this felling axe handle that you can buy for ten thousand anima so i have like three thousand i cannot afford this but you can just buy this thing the the, the handle in the grand exchange i'll try to pay four mil and it is 1.3 million so i'm gonna get a crystal axe the thing is that one it, it's not reversible once you convert this especially if you're an iron man let's say if you have a third age axe it is not convertible back but they are tradable so you could drop trade or if you remain you can just sell things in the grand exchange a crystal singing bow might help with that okay are you sure you want to reshape your crystal axe into felling axe this cannot be undone okay so you have to use the axe on it um, yes, please. It has shaped this into felling axe. And now, after doing this animation and getting five smithing experience, there is now crystal felling axe. Yep, and it has the same charges. Also, this is how it looks like. Yeah. It's pretty much the highest tier that it can have. It says, while it chops at the same speed as a regular axe, the two-handed versions offer something extra. While you have forester's rations in your forestry kit, each successful chop will give you 10% more experience and 20% chance not to obtain the log. And if you're out of rations, the axe will function like any other. And it says apparently they improved the recipe, but I think that's good for like Iron Man because as a main account, I can just buy this. It's actually kind of interesting because when you think about woodcutting, this is what you should be getting your logs, yeah? You should not be getting them through PBMing, killing RTO or whatever else where you can get a bunch of them. So instead of making it work for woodcutting, they're like, nah, bruh, we, we're making so you don't get the logs while you're chopping them. 
How about that? I mean, I understand this is probably a good thing. It's uh, probably more AFK. Your inventory does not fill up as quick. Now, another thing that I want to check is the collection log because apparently they added a bunch of items and there is a forestry one with 7 out of 22. So pretty much every single reward is actually claimable, even as stupid as like petal garlands and Every, this guy you can just buy for like, I don't know, it takes one minute and you just unlock the collection log. Anyway, I'm not going to fill this in this video. So thank you very much for watching. And oh my God, wait, guys, I just realized something. I wanted to tell you this one thing, but I, I just don't, I don't remember it. Actually, I think I'm going to go now. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye.